Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is all about the five things that every home needs in 2020. Every year I make an assessment of my home and I walk around and kind of review the things that have longevity, the things that I've kept from move to move, those that were like tried, true, and trendy, and those items that I no longer need in my life. Of course, those items that were too trendy and they're totally passe, I'm ready to get rid of. I thank them for their time, a la the Marie Kondo way, and I donate them stacked. I think it's really important to regularly purge your home to get rid of the things that really no longer inspire you on a daily basis. That will encourage the energy to flow freely and make room for the things that do inspire you with the intent to help you achieve the life that you desire and aspire to live. The first thing that you need in your home is something cozy. Cozy equals self-care. Cozy really just means that you care about yourself enough to surround yourself with things that make you feel good. We're talking about really sumptuous bedding, soft throws, cozy pillows, anything that you wanna wrap yourself up in and just like relax for the day. I can't tell you how many times I've been like really cheap about bedding. I mean, I know that you guys have seen those ads for like Egyptian cotton, like an entire full set for like $20. Sometimes they're on the corner of the street. Sometimes they're like plastered all over Amazon. I made that mistake myself thinking I was gonna get a lot of bang for my buck. Of course, I buy it, I bring it home and not like, you know, two weeks into it, it's like ripped to shreds or it can't like hold up within a wash. And of course, I've replaced them over and over again, thus wasting even more money and then donating it out or even throwing it away. Investing in something cozy, like really beautiful bedding, just says that you really want to take care of yourself and that you're worth it. Similar to my wardrobe, I actually want to make key investment in pieces that I know is going to carry me year round. I mean, I live in Southern California, so we don't really subscribe to seasons, which means anything that I purchase now could be used in spring, summer, fall, winter. I mean, I could use it year round. There's a saying that I absolutely love and I always remember anytime I'm going out and making a crazy investment. It's buy well, cry once. The something cozy could be specific to like blankets or throws, anything that you want to swap out maybe once or twice a year. I want these items to be purposeful and really speak to my style so that I know I'm making a long-term investment for years down the road. To be honest, the only bedding that has really kept up in my entire lifespan is the Barefoot Dreams. You guys remember from my holiday gift guide, it's like one of my favorite, favorite things to give and receive. I am always looking for deals on Barefoot Dreams bedding. Although it's not cheap, like my king blanket, I wanna say it retails for about $250. I mean, I've had it for over 10 years, guys. Think about the cost per wear, it probably breaks down to like pennies. So do yourself a favor and invest in something cozy and you won't regret it. You know that Danish style of living, huga? I mean, you see it everywhere. It looks like Heidi, but it's pronounced huga. I mean, that is still really huge in design and there's a reason for it. It not only applies to decorative items and home decor, but it's really like a lifestyle mantra, which I absolutely love. It's about enveloping yourself in family and tradition and coziness and mindfulness. I love that idea, especially when it blends with home decor items. The second thing every home needs in 2020 is something custom. I've had something custom designed by me and made for every single client I've had throughout these last 15, 16 years I've been in business. I mean, I know what you guys are thinking, custom just means expensive, but it really doesn't. Custom can just mean you're going out to a local fabric shop and picking up a fabric that you absolutely love and you're just reupholstering like a little ottoman or a bench. That could cost you less than $100, but you've specified something that you handpicked yourself and that automatically means it's custom. I look around my house and about 75% of my entire home is custom made with antiqued or refurbished or like Craigslist eBay furniture. So although I didn't spend a lot on the custom pieces themselves, I really had the intent to keep in mind custom furniture, custom upholstery, custom designs, even like a little custom designer detail that I slapped on a chair or a sofa. So even though custom doesn't always mean expensive, it just means you put a little bit more thought into making something especially for you. 
I love the entire customization process. I mean, from finding, you know, the perfect fabric, a perfect material, and then collaborating with a carpenter, an artist, or an upholster, really kind of getting in there and working out all of the kinks and the problems, troubleshooting it, and then all of a sudden at the end, you're left with this beautiful, magnificent piece that you had a hand in designing. There is nothing quite like the feeling of putting your stamp on a piece and then having it come to life. Number three, is something from your travels. No, I am not talking about this entire collection of shot glasses that you have every single time you guys go visit Vegas, okay? That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about a sentimental item that you brought back from your travels. Anytime you've gone to like a really beautiful location, a beautiful country that you've always wanted to visit, and even if it was something as small as like a handmade keychain. When you display something for your travels, you're constantly reminded of a beautiful time in your life. And that treasured item really puts a timestamp on this phase in your life. Think about it guys, what do you buy on vacation? Let me know in the comments below and I'll help you find a really beautiful way to display them in your home. Number four is something bold. I mean, go big or go home, right guys? Something bold could be anything from a really beautiful, magnificent piece of art to like a really funky pattern or a really bright color in your home. That one bold piece will make a really daring statement about your style and it'll tell everybody who comes in, this is who you are and this is what you're about. I always try to encourage my clients to be a little bit more daring in their interiors. I mean, I love a neutral space as much as the next person, but imagine this really beautiful neutral space with like an amazing piece of artwork. The artwork could still be in the neutral tones, but if it had like a really cool texture or a really cool kind of like abstract figure, it makes such a statement in the home and it can stand on its own. Plus, every time you walk by it, you'll be so inspired by this like bold and confident statement that you made in your life. And that's just gonna keep the momentum going for making more confident choices in your everyday life. Number five is something handmade. At this point in my career, I really strive to stay away from cookie cutter art. I mean, I remember those days and years and clients that, you know, my team and I slept to like the nearest home goods and we spent hours and hours like rummaging through the artwork. Of course, those art pieces are digitally printed and there's probably like thousands in the world. And although they really complement your color scheme or the design direction you're going, I mean, there's so many out there. It doesn't feel unique and handmade just for you. Before you rush out and commission like today's hottest street artist, I mean, really, you can just go on minted.com or Etsy has so many beautiful, amazing pieces. Digital prints that you can download for really cheap. Even the poster sizes you can make for about $20, $30 sometimes. So you can blow them up really huge. Anything handmade does not mean your dollar store DIY why guys okay we're talking about really beautiful curated artisan handmade pieces i know artwork can get really expensive so if you can't find anything on etsy or minted you can also scour your local flea market even craigslist or ebay for handmade one-of-a-kind works of art if it's not art prints you're into look for sculptures or pottery anything in raw and natural materials always looks very high-end and designer chic you're looking for natural materials like hand-blown glass or wood-fired clay or pottery anything with that artist's touch and beautiful texture having something handmade in your home not only supports local artists but you'll have these pieces that are uniquely you one of a kind and perfectly suited to your style and aesthetic Okay, I want you guys to stop right now, take a look around your room or your home, and let me know how many of these items you hit from my list. If you only had one, congratulations. You are well on your way to a super chic and designer space that is unapologetically you. If you stay true to your own personal taste, you'll have an interior that's unlike no other. It's deeply personal, it feels unique, and you're connected to it. I mean, really, that's what interior design is all about, guys. My home is like this cabinet of curiosities that the minute you step into it, you already get a feel of who I am, what I'm like, my behaviors, my lifestyle, the things I like to do on the weekends, a collection of travels and stages of my life that just evoke these really beautiful memories of the people that I've spent my time with and everything that I've experienced along the way. That's it for this video, guys. It is my top five things that every home needs in 2020. Let me know if you guys like this vloggy type of content or video. I love to just sit and chat about interior design related topics. Of course, I want you guys to have an interior that's like 
super fresh to death, but I know that you need those really quick and easy DIY sprinkled in. While I love an easy DIY as much as the next person, I wanna make sure that I arm you guys with the right interior design information so that you design with heart and wake up feeling inspired every single day. Leave a comment below if you want some more design tips, and of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one.